How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how many jumping jacks to lose weight. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support that helps my channel grow. Also, if you're interested in online personal training for me, simply comment below in the comment section. I will get back to you guys with more details. So everyone is going to be different based on your cardiovascular levels. I recommend starting off doing say three minutes of jumping jacks and then add one minute every other day until you get to around 30 minutes or so. Now, people are gonna ask me, how long do I go? Can I go for an hour? Can I go for an hour and a half? You can keep going as long as you want. The key behind what I do or what I tell people is that all we're trying to do is get some form of progression throughout your training. So if you're starting off doing three minutes, your body is accustomed to training for three minutes a day. It's accustomed to doing three minutes. If you wanna do better or do more than that, you're gonna to have to add more time or do something that makes it harder. So you don't necessarily have to, uh, you don't have to add time if you don't want to. You can make the exercise harder by holding dumbbells if you wanted to. Just anything to make that exercise harder or you can make it longer. Now most people don't wanna hold dumbbells and they can't really progress because you're not gonna be jumping with 50 pound dumbbells that just wouldn't be safe. So the best way to progress with jumping jacks is going to be by adding time to the amount of jumping jacks you are doing. Another thing that you can do is you can add sets to your jumping jacks. So let's say you're doing three minutes of jumping jacks day one. Day two, what you wanna do is, let's say you don't add any time at all. You just do three minutes, but you add another set. So you do three minutes one set, the next set you do a minute. So you did four total minutes, but you did two sets. Your first set was three minutes, your second set was a minute. So you still did more, but it took you two sets. That's completely fine, you guys. Another thing that you can do is you can work towards getting to 30 minutes. You can start off doing three minutes a day. Uh, then what you can do is you can add a minute or two minutes every day until you get to 30 minutes. Once you get to 30 minutes, you can add a second set and then you can keep doing that. You can start off with one minute on the second set, but still doing 30 minutes on the first set and just keep adding time to the second set until you get to 30 minutes. And you can even keep adding sets if you want to. You can do three total sets if you will. Now here's the thing. You can lose weight by doing jumping jacks. You can lose 100 pounds if you wanted to by doing jumping jacks. The thing with losing weight is making sure that your body moves optimally or in the best way imaginable or the best way possible. The best way for your body to move is to make sure your body is all moving at once. When you're doing a jumping jack, your whole body is moving. Your arms are moving, your legs are moving, everything is moving. Uh, an exercise or exercises that I don't like for losing weight are exercises like the elliptical where Yes, you're supposed to move your arms and your legs at the same time, but what some people will do is they'll simply just move their legs, they won't really move their arms. So you're just using your legs. Stationary bikes. Stationary bikes, people sit on that and they'll just go for 20, 30 minutes and they're not really doing much. Yes, they're moving their legs, but they're not really moving any other part of their body. So if you can incorporate your whole body into the movement, you're gonna lose more weight faster, you guys. So end of video, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like the video and share. Thanks again, everyone.